I'm Larry Walther. This is PrinciplesofAccounting.com, Chapter 3. In this module, we will be discussing the elements of revenue recognition. Now, revenue recognition is the point at which revenue is recognized or reported or recorded into the accounting records. Recognize means to record in an accounting context. Uh, this contrasts with the word realized, which is converting to cash or a firm claim to cash. We're not talking about when we collect cash, we're talking about when we're going to record revenue as revenue in the financial statements. That's usually at the point of sale for most transactions. Whether the transaction is a cash sale or whether the transaction is on account, receiving payment is not required for revenue recognition. What is important is that we have an exchange transaction and that the earnings process be complete. Let's consider an illustration of revenue recognition. Here we have an individual who is engaging in a production activity. Before revenue can be recognized, the earnings process must be complete. In this case, production of the particular item must be completed. It's not enough to have a firm order from a customer. The goods that are being sold need to be finished. It's also necessary to have an exchange transaction. The buyer has paid or, or is agreeing to make payment in the future for the goods, is genuinely taking ownership of the goods. It's not enough to physically exchange the goods and say, here customer, take a look at these and see if you want to buy them. They're agreeing. They have bought the goods. They are agreeing to make payment in the future if they have not already done so. Both of those must be present in exchange transaction and earnings process complete before the accountant would be recognizing the revenues in the accounting records. So we have a significant judgment issue here on the part of the accountant to decide if both of those conditions are fully satisfied. Bear in mind that a majority of accounting failures relate to revenue rec recognition issues where a company has prematurely recognized revenue before both of these conditions are fully satisfied. It seems like these ought to be clear enough. In practice, there are many gray areas. Uh, we would not, for example, recognize revenue if goods have not been shipped to a customer. Uh, we might have a firm purchase order that we receive at 11 p.m. one evening. Uh, maybe our business cycle ends at midnight. If we don't physically ship those goods before midnight, we don't have a sale yet. We don't have the exchange process completed at that point. So a very rigid construction of these rules should be applied in practice to provide for appropriate revenue recognition principles.